Hi, I'm Lady Rose of Goddess Garage, and I'm here to share with you some of my herbal magical knowledge. I'm hoping to build up this playlist so that you can come and get a wealth of knowledge of all the herbs that I have to sell and other herbs that you might want to add to your collection. You can get my herbs at my Etsy store, Goddess Garage Canada. I'll put the link below for you to click on that if, if you want to make your own purchase there and see all the herbs and magical spells I have over there for you. So today I'm looking at Cat's Claw. So Cat's Claw is actually a bark and it's... Um, it's sort of a tree and vine all together. It's actually, I wrote the word down. It's a lil, Lilana, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. It's growing in the Amazon rainforest is where they get it from. So a lot of shamans use it. It's a very shamanic type of medicine. Um, and it is considered a sacred medicine. Um, so I do Reiki infuse and conjure these herbs um, in particular, this one's a bark for you to use. So, and I am native as well. So a lot of the shaman, shaman, <laughs> shamanism herbs that I use, um, are from, um, native use and that sort of thing. So this one is called cat's claw. And the reason it's called cat's claw is because like I said, it's kind of a vine. It grows way up. Like it starts on the ground. It grows way up into the like rooftop of the rainforest which as we know is very very tall and it's kind of a vine but it's not a vine that uses other trees it's a, almost a standalone and it can get th as thick as trees but still have lots of kind of vines growing out of it um it will use other trees sort of for a balance if it needs to but it's not one of these things that winds up a tree and that's how it grows it can grow it's a freestanding sort of vine that kind of mimics a tree at the same time. So it's a little in both worlds. <laughs> but it's called Cat's Claw because along all of its tendrils, so to speak, there's little like sort of sharp points, not quite thorns, but they do kind of look like cat's claws. Thus the reason it's called Cat's Claw in English and in other languages and whatnot. So like I said, it's from the rainforests of Amazon. Um, it's native medicine and it's used by many of the tribes in Peru specifically and in particular the Ashanica, Ashanica Indians. Um, the native people describe it as a gate opener and it helps with gastrointestinal systems. Now normally I don't go into necessarily the medical side but I'm just touching on this because it is used in shaman um, medicine as well so it is a gatekeeper and it's um, a gate opener I mean and it's an unblocker so it's great support medicine also to help alleviate um, the negative sides of chemotherapy so it's very good for anyone who has cancer and is going through chemotherapy and wants to uh, relieve some of the side effects I myself have gone through cancer and gone through chemo in particular and I know what those side effects can be like and cat's claw is very good you can get it as a tea and I highly recommend that you can drink it as a tea I'll put a link below for some of the tea as well if you're interested in purchasing that that's not part of my Etsy shop but um, I'm an affiliate with Amazon so I know that you can get the tea there and it is quite um, helpful when you are going through chemotherapy but back to the more mystical and magical side of cat's claw um, so like I said it's a gateway between the physical um, or it's a gateway overall but also between the physical the spiritual and the mental it's a great great very effective unblocker of things um, it restores equilibrium and it's a balancer overall so it's very good at creating balance where balance is needed especially where there's situations that are completely unhinged um, it clears blocks and obstructions that are both like I said mental it even comes into our physical world and our spiritual it's very good at getting the chakras balanced and flowing freely and smoothly as they're supposed to. Um, so if you have a lot of blockages sh chakra wise, definitely some cat's claw is great to burn to um, on your charcoal or on a candle while you're meditating, um, doing a chakra meditation while you're burning that or in a ritual bath um, or uh, 
what's the other way? Or just having it on your altar will help as well. If you're finding life is unbalanced overall, like you've got very, lots of different areas that kind of seem out of sync, carry some with you. Um, the bottle here, that's what you get, and that's the bark of it. Um, it's hard to find the bark, so this is the bark of it that you get from me, because normally the teas are often very powdered and very effective that way, but for magical uses, you tend to want this, and for shaman medicine, you tend to want this. If you're burning this as a smudge, you can. Again, treat it with the honor that it deserves, because it is a sacred medicine. If you want to know more about smudging, please watch my smudging video. As a Native American, I take offense when people burn smudge sticks like big cigars because that's not honoring the smudge for what it is. They are talking now, I've heard more and more talk about cultural appropriation. I have about education and Natives by nature tend to be very sharing <laughs> and I don't mind if you use smudging. I don't see it so much as appropriation but I do feel that you must give it the honor that it deserves um, and it has been suggested that perhaps you know like some of the uh, plants that we use as medicine as natives like the white sage and stuff like that have um, been bought by the barrel full and are becoming sort of we're concerned about the the uh, replacement of it. So you're not supposed to burn barrelfuls of it. Like I said, you don't burn it like a big cigar. I'm going off on a tangent here, which I tend to do sometimes. Um, but by buying it from a native person, perhaps they can instill in you um, some of the honor and sacredness that is meant to be because it became very trending for a long time and it still is and like I said I'm not against sharing it I don't mind that you smudge but learn to smudge properly and please try to support um, native ways of doing it because it's been stolen from the natives the smudging and a lot of our medicines and stuff like that so learn from someone who is native um, and if it's a native purchaser, because sometimes some of these smudge sticks are what natives refer to as plastic <laughs> and plastic shamans um, because they've appropriated that culture onto their own system. And like I said, I don't mind you borrowing it as long as you honor it in the same way that I do as a native. Um, I do sell smudge as well, and um, I'm going to be putting that up on my Etsy store because right now I sell it locally, but if you do want smudge from a native person, I am a native person, and you can buy the smudge from me, and also I encourage you to watch the videos on how to smudge and how to honor some of these medicines, um, and like I said, I'm happy to share, but again, I'd like the honor given to it that it deserves because this is our Mother Earth who are, are giving us these gifts. Um, so back to Cat's Claw. <laughs> uh, it releases old ties. That's the other thing that's very effective with Cat's Claw. It does release old ties, including ties that may be encumbering you in this life from past lives. So it's always good if you feel like you've carried some baggage over, perhaps you've done some meditating, perhaps you've done a past life regression, maybe it's just a feeling you have, um, it will help you release any old ties, any old um, baggage that you may have brought from past lives. And it helps restore that spiritual balance that we all are needing and craving. The other thing, so you also always get an information sheet with me. I'm hoping to do um, a mailing club where you'll learn about a new herb every month as well. So please check out my Facebook page, um, Goddess Garage Tarot Parlor. Sorry, I'm just going to wet my whistle here for a sec. Goddess Garage Tarot Parlor, because that's where I'm going to release it and announce it. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, please, if you want to receive actual mail, in an actual envelope like we used to do. <laughs> um, please follow me there and you'll find out more about it. So I'm really happy and excited about getting that program up and running. 
Um, so like I said, it, it helps with uh, vision quests as well. Shamans use it for vision quests. So when you're meditating, it can help make your meditation more vivid, um, deeper, and you might have a vision quest as well when you burn it. You have to burn it to do that. It says it right on the information thing for you, so don't worry. Um, either rewatch this video or read the information card when you when you purchase your cat's claw. Um, it acts as a guardian when you're doing this work as well. So not only is it a gateway, but it is a protected gateway. So it helps to keep negative entities out so that you're protected and you're going on a true spiritual journey and not getting into something you don't want to. Um, it's also excellent for the more physical side of the world in drawing in money and prosperity. So it's actually really good for businesses as well or if you need to pay that extra bill that's come up or you know buy something that's unexpected kind of thing it's great to do a little bit of a ritual on, at your altar burning on a candle perhaps uh, or you know um, having a ritual bath to create that energy of prosperity and money coming in you can even sprinkle a little on the extra bill that you have to pay um, and it will help draw money for that particular bill it's a great addition to any money or career spells I have many spells um, I don't have them right here handy, but one of my most popular spell mixtures. So these are herbs, and I do have my spell mixtures as well. So the spell mixtures, I kind of say, are spells ready to go. They're spells in a bottle. So I have a money drawing spell. Now it does have some cat's claw in it, but if you want to give it a little extra boost, you can always add a little more cat's claw or a little more skull cap or something like that. Another herb I'll be talking about. But if you, and I have some career spells as well. So definitely check out my list of spells that I have along with the um, herb mixtures that I have or herbs that I have um, because it will cat's claw is a power booster as well so it will actually specifically boost any money or career spells so if there's a job you're after if there's a promotion you're after if there's an interview you're about to go on this is a great one to burn on a candle or to add to a career spell to give it that extra boost um, so that's it for Cat's Claw. And like I said, you can support me in many different ways. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. On Instagram, I'm Lady Rose Tarot. On Facebook, I'm Goddess Garage Tarot Parlor. Uh, I thank you very much for subscribing. Um, I need all the subscribers I can get. That's a great way to support me. And please click the bell as well because then you'll get a notification of when any new herb videos or any of my other magical videos go up. And you can also go over to my Etsy shop. I'll put the link below um, to uh, make a purchase. That's another way to support me. Or I'll put the tip cup if you just want to buy me a coffee and say thanks for the video. That would be much appreciated. So I appreciate you being here. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back again soon. Take care and be safe. Bye.